Good morning, my fellow yoga travelers. I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, live the life we love. Don't forget to loaf and hydrate when you go on talking to me. Anyway, <clears throat> well, it's Wednesday, my bad joke day. So Mrs. Schimmelman comes back from visiting the doctor, and she's so excited she can't wait to speak to her husband. She says, I have to tell you, the doctor gave me a great report. He says, I have the, the body of a 40-year-old. She's like 65. I have the face of a of a 35 year old. I have the hair of a 25 year old. It's just wonderful. And the husband says, "Well, what do you say about your fat ass?" And she said, "Well, we didn't talk about you at all." Ah, give me a rim shot for that one. All right. Remember that when you want to attract positive things to yourself, pleading a needy a needy case justifying where you are, you activate and hold yourself in resistance to what you really want. So if you want to have a catalyst for change, a quantum leap in your own thinking and feeling, let go of trying to explain and rationalize why you are where you are and let that go and head out for the direction that you want to go. It's like a GPS system. It's going to take you in a certain direction once you program it. And if you head off course, it's to trying to course correct you. So it's just like that. What are you putting out there as your guidance system? Yes, there's a price that we pay for being more conscious. There's no doubt about it. Awareness hurts. But once you're really looking at your own motivations and actions, remember yesterday I said, check the bottom of the bin to see the bad odor that's coming from there. You can't pretend that you don't know any better. And that's because you can't get away with anything. You can't get away with nothing. You might cringe and wince at what you've done in the past. You might shudder with your own guilt and sadness of what you did or could have done. But you're not off on the hook. But you are on the road to purgatory. Even if it seems when you're reflecting on yourself that the impurities are grosser and larger they're not. It only appears that way because you're seeing things more clearly. And that's painful to be sure, but that is the way to recover. Then you know that those choices don't serve you anymore. And you're not going to go down that road. So it's also looking at your own ideas. How, do our, how does our thinking patterns give us a certain kind of perception that doesn't have an overarching perspective to lift us up, to raise us above, to see further than we currently do. Like the Sufis say, new organs of perception come about through necessity. So to increase your perception, increase your necessity. If you don't think you need to see any more than you currently do, you won't. So ideas, we see through them. We're taken by them. We're taken in by them. And that word invention, invenire, coming in, is a way of saying, I look at it this way, I look at it that way. I see what it means. When you ask people, you see what I'm saying? You try to convince them in some way of your ideas. But initially, I call yoga a radical discontinuity. It's supposed to lay waste to the old cherished habits that keep us stuck, that keep us in a... In a, a, a um, An inability for attachment in yoga to move out of the comfortable rut that we created for ourselves. So just remember that competition and cooperation are not mutually exclusive. We have to learn to play with each other and be the kind of person that everybody wants to play with you. Because if you're not the kind of person that people want to play with, you're kind of a loser in a certain Certainly, you don't want to be a cheat. Everybody knows not to play with a cheat. You never forget a cheat. So there's a certain level of honesty showing up with integrity that's important. But it's just like two sports teams, right? They choose to cooperate on the field. They accept the structure or the rules of the game. And then you need the other person. You need the adversarial relationship in order to engage. So there's cooperation, even though there's competition. 
So see if you can start jamming with people like that. Always be the kind of person that people want to play with.